We present translating the visual Lego manual to a machine executable plan. Object assembly is a common task in our daily life. We compose primitive parts into complex objects of Lego models, furniture, etc. A crucial component of the task is the manual that guides the assembly process. In this paper, we translate a step-by-step -step assembly manual created by human designers from images into machine-interpretable instructions, aiming to build agents that can assist humans in the assembly process. Take a LEGO menu as an example. It consists of a sequence of 2D images specifying the assembly process. Here, the images are sampled from a LEGO menu that builds a guitar, with each image containing two steps. In each step, the manual specifies the candidate components to be assembled and the target shape by projecting it to the image plan. In this way, human can infer the desired 3D poses of the components from the manual image in each step until we build the final LEGO object. The components in each step can be selected from a predefined library of primitive bricks. It can also be composed from primitive bricks in previous steps, like the head of the guitar here. We call this type of component a submodule. So given the manual, our goal is to translate it into a series of machine executable instructions represented by a series of 3D posts for each component. Once we have this executable plan, we can leverage it to build the corresponding 3D LEGO object by sequentially moving the components into desired locations. This video shows how a guitar is built according to the step-by-step -step instruction of the manual. In each step, we infer the location of components from the manual image and the 3D object we have already built. In the last step, we can see a submodule is first built from scratch and then added to the main body as a whole. There are two challenges in translating LEGO manuals into executable plans. The first one is how to build correspondence between the 3D dramatic shape at each step and the 2D manual image. Since the manual image is just a 2D projection of the target shape, the inference algorithm needs to reason about the 3D orientations and alignments of components throughout the assembly process. The second challenge is the rich library of components which contain arbitrary composition of primitive bricks. Although most shapes can be built from a finite set of LEGO primitives, they can also be flexibly composed into more complex submodules. So a manual parser must be capable of inferring 3D poses of unseen objects composed from seen primitives. To solve this task, we first factorize the original LEGO manual into two parts, a series of components and manual images. Once we obtain this factorized representation, we can formulate the problem as a sequential prediction task. In each step, a manual parser receives, first, a base shape in 3D, representing the current state of what we have already assembled. Second, a set of components to be added in 3D, representing the component's information. Each component can either be a primitive brick or a submodule assembled in previous steps. Third, a 2D image specifying the projection of the target shape. With this information, the parser is expected to output 3D pose for each component in this step. Once we can predict the poses for components in every step, we can parse the whole menu from scratch sequentially where we use the predictions in previous steps to update the base shape as well as the submodules in the current step. In this way, we can parse the whole LEGO manual and output the executable plan to build the target LEGO object. Since we have factorized the problem into a sequential manual parsing problem, we will be focusing on developing learning-based method for solving the one-step prediction task. Our proposed model, Manual to Executable Plan Network, or MapNet, tackles the problem in a two-stage fashion. Given the target manual image, the base shape, and the candidate components, MapNet first uses a neural network to predict 2D key points, rotations, and the masks for each added component. In the second stage, it uses deterministic algorithms to infer the 3D posts of new components by fusing the prediction from the first stage. 
This is primarily motivated by the difficulty of directly estimating 3D poses from 2D images, which requires accurate inference of the depth information. In this video, we will focus on explaining the second stage algorithm, which does not require any learning parameters. Here, we leverage the connection constraint between components to infer the 3D translation. Connection constraint is an important feature of object assembly, which makes the object stable and safe. For LEGO objects, connections are performed between certain parts of the bricks called studs and anti-studs. Every time when we assemble a new component onto the base shape, we are inserting at least one stud from the base shape to some anti-stud of the new component. Motivated by this constraint, we design a connection constraint 3D translation inference algorithm. First, given the base shape, we compute the studs of the base shape and then project them on the manual image. In the second step, given the 2D information of the detected component, we can also obtain the projection of these anti studs on the manual plan. Then we match the studs and anti studs of the manual plan by 2D Euclidean distance and get a set of matched studs from the base shape, which we know the 3D positions. We assign these 3D positions to the anti studs of the component and use them to vote for the 3D translation of the component. In this way, combining the rotation prediction from the first stage, we can infer the 3D pose of every new component in this step. To train our first stage neural modules, we generate a large-scale synthetic dataset. We also created two datasets from real-world LEGO manuals. The first one named the classics contains simple daily objects. The second one called architecture contains more complex building-shaped LEGO objects. From the examples, we can see the three datasets cover a diverse range of 3D shapes. Here, we also show some examples of the manual image, where in each step, multiple printed bricks or submodules are added. We then show the qualitative results of a single step prediction of our model and the baseline on three datasets. MATNAT is able to accurately predict 3D poses of both printed bricks and submodules even in cases with significant occlusions. Baseline models tend to either have a small deviation in 3D translation or fail to infer the orientation. We also show that MATNAT can successfully build objects from scratch with diverse shapes guided by manuals. We also evaluate our model on a Minecraft house dataset, where in each step we will add a single printed brick to build a house. MATNAT again outperforms baseline models. In conclusion, we formulated the problem of translating an image-based step-by-step assembly manual into machine-interpretable instructions. We propose MATNAT that tackles the problem. MATNAT can establish a 2D-3D correspondence between the manual image and the 3D object, and performs 3D post estimation for unseen compositional 3D objects. Results show that MATNAT outperforms existing methods on three newly collected LEGO manual datasets and a Minecraft house dataset. Thank you for listening.